It's really indeed that our God is faithful for us to see the end of uh, January. Today is the last Sunday of January. For us to see the last Sunday of January, we are going to see the last day of January. I don't know how many of us have that faith. Hallelujah. And Thanksgiving is not just what we just do, only December and January. It should be our daily life thing. It's what we do every day. When it's sweet, we do it. When it's bad, we do it. And that is how we are, we are disciples of Christ. Hallelujah. Because we are followers of Christ. We do the way he does. Hallelujah. And Thanksgiving is the time where we remember all what God has done for us. We think of his goodness, his marvelous works in our life. Not just only his goodness, what he has done and what he's doing and what he's about to do. When I say what he's about to do, we can see it in the scripture. You know, when our father, Jesus, he, he, he lifted up the five loaves of bread and two fishes. And he gave thanks in advance. The fish and the bread have not multiplied. But he thanked God ahead. Hallelujah. So it should be our daily thing. When the house is full, give thanks. When it's not full, we give thanks. Hallelujah. It's also a time where we acknowledge God. For all we have. For all we have achieved. It's not by our doing, you know. There are many of us that where we are occupying, we know that our qualification have not brought us there. Our influence have not brought us there. Our connection have not brought us there. It is God's hands. Hallelujah. Quickly, I will be sharing five P's why we should give thanks. Hallelujah. Five P's why we should give thanks. One, we should give thanks because of his protection. We should give thanks because of his protection. My mom always, you know, give an adage in her lifetime. That many a times, the battle that God has fought for us, the ones we did not see, is more than the one we have seen. So many of us might be asking ourselves, that, ah, eh, how many, how many, how many, I've scared to, but, you know, there are a lot of things that God has protected us from that we did not see. So we should give thanks to his name. Hallelujah. Our life... Over our life, is worthy giving thanks for him, which we can never purchase by money. His protection can never be purchased by money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can see that from the book of Psalm 91. Hallelujah. Secondly, we should give thanks because of his presence. We are not just experiencing his presence because we come to church. If indeed we have intimacy with our father, even when we are at work, when we are at home, anywhere we are, we always feel his presence. Yes or no? His presence has been there and it will ever be there in Jesus' name. God's presence has been right there from even when you are in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. His presence has been taking care of you even from, his, from our mother womb. Hallelujah. Up to where we are, we can find that also from the book of psalm 145 verse 18 i will not be reading this scripture please when we get home we should settle down and read the scripture because of our time hallelujah thirdly we should give thanks because of his power you know there's one song they say his divine power has given us everything everything we need everything we need in life his power has given everything we need in life in this life so we should give thanks because of his power. Hallelujah. We should be thankful for his divine power that has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. We can find that from the book of 1 Peter 1 verse 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said his plan for us is for what? For good and not for evil. To give, bring us to what? An expected end. The fourth reason why we should give thanks is because of his plan for us. His plan has been good. It has always been good. And this year has been tagged our year of goodness and mercy. So we know for sure that this year, his plan for us is good. And there will not be heaven in the name of Jesus. Lastly, why we should give thanks is because of prosperity. Hallelujah. Joseph was in a strange land and he was prospering. How many of us are indigenous of Kanu here? None. 
we are prospering. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes, Some of the indigenous of Kano, they are begging from us. We are not saying because we want to know, bring them down or bring their words down. No. We are stranger in Kano and we are still prospering and will continue to prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we don't have any other reason to give thanks to God. There are a lot of it to give thanks to. But I'm just mentioning these five pieces for us to give thanks. Hallelujah. And I just want to hold us this year, 2024, that our gratitude should be louder than our complaint. Our thanksgiving should be louder than our complaint. Our thanksgiving should be louder than you no know, comparing ourselves to other. As photo worship thing will be coming up again. Another opportunity is given to us to pour our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.